the Gospel of John, look at this. Jesus personally introduced himself with the seven I am's. Aware of, are you aware of this? The seven I am? Uh, <laughs> what is the C? The, the first? How Jesus introduced himself to the community? John introduced Jesus as the first is 635. I am the I am the bread of life. Jesus claimed that after feeding the multitude. After feeding the how many? The 5,000. After feeding them, come to me. I am the bread of life. The bread symbolizes what? The literal bread symbolizes what? The physical satisfaction in order to provide physical nourishment. But when Jesus said, I am the bread of life, whoever, ano, pakibasa nga mabuti? Sige nga, brother. Is he talking about physicality? No. No. He is the one who can satisfy the soul, the inner. Whoever follows me, whoever comes to me and believes in me will never be hungry and thirsty again in terms of the spiritual food because Jesus can satisfy the spirit. Tama yun, ano? may longing, may instinct ang body natin. Eh, no? uh, yung gutom, antok, puhaw, marami pa. <laughs> Mayroong mga natural desire ang body. But the spirit is aiming for satisfaction. And that is the place where Jesus can feed us. And Jesus, while doing the physical, ang meaning niya is spiritual. Ano? After feeding the 5,000, Jesus claim that I am the bread of life. It means I am the one who can satisfy you. Man cannot be satisfied by bread alone. Man cannot be satisfied by money. We have seen history na ang pera hindi laging nagbibigay ng complete satisfaction. I challenge you. If you do not know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, come to Him. Believe in Him. Take Him as your personal Lord and Savior. He will satisfy your soul. Mahalaga yun. Hindi mahalaga yung may religion lang tayo. Dapat mayroon tayong Jesus. Because Jesus is the bread of life. He can satisfy your soul. Di ba? Alam niyo naman yan eh. Ang buhay ay may dulo yan. In fact, sa mas malalalim na readings, the moment that you are born, the moment a child is born, he started to die. Aware kayo niyang ganyang reading? Na nung ipanganak ang bata, nagsimula na, ang, pag pinanganak ang isang tao, bawat araw, papunta na siya sa kamatayan. Sa modern reading nga, ang tingin pa nga ng modern readers, yung death is static. Lahat tayo papunta doon, di ba? Sa postmodern reading, hindi. Yung death papunta din sa'yo. Dalawa yung movement. Papunta ka sa kanya, siya din papunta sa'yo. <laughs> Double ang movement sa postmodern reading. Hindi single yung movement. Di ba? Alam niyo ba illustration dyan ng, yung tungkol sa kamatayan kay Peter? When Jesus was visited by death, so si, Jesus, ah, si, si Peter, pinuntahan ni kamatayan. Sabi ni Peter, oh, P Pedro, ikaw na eh. Susundoy na kita. Sabi ni Pedro, eh, bakit napakabata ko pa naman? Bakit ako na nakalista dyan? Sabi daw ni kamatayan, wala akong magagawa. Ikaw nakalista eh. Sabi ni Pedro daw, magkapi ka nga muna. Pinagkapi si kamatayan. Ano? Ilustrasyon lang ito na joke. 
Pinagkape si kamatayan. Nakatulog sa sarap ng kape. Pagising na kamata, habang natutulog si, si kamatayan, binura ni Peter yung pangalan niya. Nilagay sa pinakababa. Di ba? Pagising ni kamatayan, sabi, mabait ka pa talaga, Pedro. Pwede ka pa talaga dito. Baya mo, dahil sa kabaitan mo, sa baba ako magsisimula. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> nailipat ni Pedro yung pangalan niya doon eh. Kaya, siya na talaga. <laughs> Di ba? Uh, I challenge you. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever believes in me, Jesus said, whoever believes in me, whoever comes to me and believes in me, will never be hungry again, spiritually, and will never be thirsty Again, I came to know the Lord Jesus when I was 17 years old. Papasok ako sa Philippine Military Academy, 1986. My heart is full of anger, hatred. Vengeance is my plan. So I, I want to become a military officer. I want to kill people. God turn it around. I came to know the Lord Jesus before I finished that high school life. Hindi ako nakapasok sa PMA dahil nagkaroon ng EDSA Revolution noong 1986. Instead, God brought me to seminary. And since then, 86, this year I am celebrating my 30 years in my Christian service. I, served, I, I started serving as pastor at the age of 19. Nagpapastor na ako ng church. So, I thank the Lord. He satisfied my life. Uh, he gives me a new direction when I accepted Him. I challenge you. Make Jesus, take Jesus, accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And He will satisfy your life. He will give you new direction. Okay? The next claim is what? In... Anong, ano? 8.12 I am the I am the light. I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me, whoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Again, Jesus claimed and Jesus said, I am the light after doing what? Giving sight to the blind. So kanina, sabi niya, sa John chapter 6, I am the bread after feeding the 5,000. Dito naman, I am the light pagkatapos niyang bigyan ng paningin yung bulag. So his claim, symbolical din siya, ano? Not just physical. Laging symbolical. Yung mga naglalakad, nabubuhay sa dilim, sa world of sin and world of darkness, come to Jesus. And He will bring you to a wonderful light. He will let you live in His light. That is important. I am the light of the world. The third is one. I am the chapter. I am the gate. I am the gate of the ship. It simply means nobody can enter the kingdom of God without considering Jesus. Only Jesus can bring us into the kingdom. Without Jesus. Diba? Without Jesus, no, no life. A Korean missionary, a, a Korean Christian can simply say it that because he is not very good in preaching, he can only say that Jesus, heaven. Jesus, heaven. Without Jesus, no heaven. <laughs> diba? That's simple. That's simple. And we should know. Sa isang seminary daw sa England, before, there, uh, there, there, there was a seminarian who keeps on cleaning the chapel. So sabi nung director, why you keep on cleaning the chapel? And you clean it well. Probably you are a good preacher. So next chapel service, Next week, you speak. 
Sabi ng estudyante, no sir, please, no. Sabi ng administrator, no, you should speak. He was forced to speak. During the chapel service, here comes the administrator. Good morning, we have speaker this morning. And let us call our speaker, brother so and so. Sabi ng estudyante, good morning. Katulad niyo, dalawang hati, good morning. Do you know what I'm going to say? Sabi ng mga estudyante, of course not. Sabi ng preacher, neither I. So let us call our administrator to give you the benediction. The administrator was so frustrated. Diba? Next time, you will be the speaker again. You need to deliver your sermon. Another chapel service came, and he is the speaker again. He was introduced by the administrator and said, Good morning. Do you know what I'm going to say? I sabi ng mga estudyante this time, Yes, we know. So you need it. You know it already. Do I need to say it again? So let us call the administrator to give you the benediction. Sabi ng administrator, Next week, you will speak again. That is your last chance. If you do not speak, you will be kicked out of this seminary. Huh? Yes. <laughs> and then the third chapel service, he was introduced again, and then sabi niya, Good morning. This side say, they agree, that all students agree, that this side will say yes, and this side will say no, so that he has no reason not to speak. Good morning. Do you know what I'm going to say? This side say, yes, we know, and this side, no, we know. Okay, those who know, tell them. <laughs> Let us call the administrator to give you the benediction. But those who know, tell those who do not know. The amazing thing is that the administrator came into the pulpit and said, thank you very much for the wonderful message. What is the message? Those who know Jesus must tell those who do not know. That's the message. Diba? We should tell our children about Jesus. We should tell our neighbors. We should tell our country that this country is in need of Jesus Christ to reign here. No Jesus, we cannot enter. Because Jesus said, I am the gate. And the next one is, I am the, what, what chapter, what verse? The good, shepherd. not, I am the good shepherd, 10, 11 to. Not the good chef. Huh? <laughs> Probably he is also a good chef. Because he was able to feed the 5,000. <laughs> Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. Compared to many, of course, we are all human, but Jesus is the good. The good seems to be the perfect. The one who is the good shepherd, in his explanation is that he is the one who is willing to give his life. He is not a hard shepherd who normally runs if there is danger. Jesus is the shepherd who gave his life for the sheep. And he proves it when he died on the cross for us and for the people. And then we have what? Napaka-evangelistic nun dyan, ano? Do you notice? That the guy, this is normal, ano? After conversion ng iba, sa evangelical, pag na-convert ka, tumanggap ka kay Jesus, ang unang ipapabasa sa'yo, Gospel of John. Napansin nyo? Hindi Matthew, no? Sa, Mat sa Catholic Matthew, ang pag-i-enrich nila ng kanilang buhay, Matayan, which is also important. Kaya tayong evangelical, weak tayo sa Matayan, sa Kalukan perspective. Eh. Makahuan kasi tayo eh. Makahuan. Uh, doon natin kinukuha yung ano natin. The next is, of course, is 11, 25, I am the... and the life. Again, when Jesus claimed this, after, after, ano, bringing back the life of Lazarus. And Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. 
Whoever believes in me, though he dies, he will live again. Uh, are you aware of that? That this life is not the, the, per, the permanent life. There is another life. And that life can only be experienced through Jesus. That is important. The second life, the eternal life, could only be experienced if we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. 14.6 I am the I am the way, the truth, and napaka-definite, napansin nyo ba? Paglalagay ng mga definite article, it means that's definite. He is not one of the ways. Jesus is the only, the only way, the only truth, and the only life. Yung life, seemingly, he is not talking about the ordinary life. He is talking about the other life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the last is 15.1. I am I am the true vine. And then, if you are not connected to the vine, if you are a branch, if or branches, and you are not connected to the vine, you will basically die. A branch cannot live away from the vine. We need to be connected. What is the emphasis? Be connected with Jesus. Be connected with Jesus. So, the seemingly, the the, the the Gospel of John is very evangelistic. Uh, yan ang mga popular na ano sa lesson ng Gospel of John. Uh, and one thing, yung pagtatanong kay, G, kay ni Peter, ano, when Peter was asked three times, uh, yung, yung Bible, sa hermeneutics, mahalaga yung mga numbers. May three, may twelve. Do you remember that? Twelve tribes, uh, twelve apostles. Uh, diba, mayroon siyang inner core na tatlong apostles, James, Peter, and John. Tapos may tatlong tanong, may tatlong tilaok ng manok. Sa hermeneutics, maaano yun, mga may meaning yun. Uh, yung tatlong tilaok, tatlong tanong din kay Pe Peter, di ba? Do you love me? At doon, maliwanag yung, yung original text. John, John, Jesus is asking Peter in agape, Do you agape me? Yes, Lord, I pileyo you. Pileyo lang talaga. Ang honest naman si Peter, no? Kahit naman tayo, there are times we love God, pero not the agape, ano? Not the perfect love, the who is willing to die. Hindi makasagot siguro si Pedro ng agape kasi katatapos lang ng denial, ano? Eh, On the point of death, he was asked by a lady, ano? Di ba isa ka doon? <laughs> Di ba kasama ka niyang nakaanong yan? Ah, hindi ko kilala yan. Hindi ko alam sinasabi mo. Another one, soldier? You are one of them. No. Another one? You belong to them. You belong to the apostle. You belong to him. No. Sabay tilaok ng manok na tatlong beses, ano? Biglang napalingon si Peter na napatingin kay Jesus. Si Jesus nasa cross na, napatingin pa kay Peter. You see? <laughs> Diba? Nasa cross, sabi niya kay Peter, oh, ano sa mo? Diba? Sabi ko sa'yo, eh, didinay mo ko eh. Nalungkot si Pedro, ano ha? What is the difference between Judas and Peter? Jesus, in, in relation to Jesus, at least Peter repented with tears, ano? Um, si, si Judas kasi nag-suicide. Yeah, suicide is not a solution, ano? You come to Jesus, He is good, He is faithful, He is perfectly faithful in terms of giving forgiveness. He is the Lamb of God. Diyan sa Gospel of John din yan. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. That's important. Uh, only Jesus in the Gospel of John. Napaka, ang tawag dito ay Christocentric Gospel. Nakapokus lahat kay 
Jesus. He introduced Jesus as the, the Son of God, the one who can give us, who can give us eternal life. That is important. So Christocentric and gospel. Thank you.